What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Tonight I've got some more Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness, playing as the Austrians. The Austrian Empire has grown significantly. We own all of this territory here in the Middle East, and this little chunk, as well as half of Italy here. Uh, last episode we left and a crisis began between myself and the Germans. The Germans are demanding that I give this piece of Italy back right here. Back to Two Sicilies, which is weird because Two Sicilies is in my sphere of influence, first of all. Second of all, they're allied with France. So the good news is that pretty much seals the deal and almost guarantees that France is going to jump in on my side of this crisis. Uh, the other thing is Russia should join as well. But it's really scary because look at all of these stacks the Germans have on the border ready to go. I don't think I could hold them off. I have a decent army. But the Germans always have the best technology. See, they would have a better... They would have a better uh, army than I would. No, Oman. We do not want that. Alliance offer from Tuscany? I will take it at the moment. Tuscany is this little territory here. Oh, that's Parma. Excuse me. Tuscany is... here. I have a nice little country. They only have about a 9 stack total, though. That kind of sucks. We can add... Belgium to our sphere of influence. So we'll do that. Twelfth, twelfth most powerful country in the world. I'm currently allied with the UK. We have a really good alliance going on. Alright, so back to it. Uh, the current crisis temperature is at 15. So let's see who, we'll see what sides jump in bump the speed up just slightly and you really have to watch this crisis temperature here just to make sure it doesn't go too high Wallachia, we've sphered them uh, let's see who's yeah so I've got Ethiopia, Parma Serbia is our satellite Tuscany is an ally Two Sicilies is in my sphere and Wallachia is in my sphere so I have a nice little collection I'm also working on huh. I'm also working on Moldavia right here. Um, we've got some factories going up as well. So that's always good. Uh, let's see if anyone has jumped in on the crisis. Spain went with Germany. Not surprising. Netherlands is... Oh, no. Netherlands is declaring war on Nejid. That's the country I wanted to take here. Damn it. Alright, if we can get rid of this crisis, maybe we can also start grabbing chunks of Nejid ourselves. The Dutch like us. If I remember correctly, yeah. We have too many great power allies, but they do like us. We're socialists. Okay, Moldavia. Increase the opinion there. Oh, totally forgot. I've got revolts to deal with, so we'll send you there. Um... What else? Oh, that was it. And they actually already captured this territory, so that's kind of disappointing. But we'll get it back. Anyway. Not a big deal at all. Meanwhile, I'm upgrading my military as quickly as possible, just in case... Okay, France jumped in on our side in the crisis. So now if we could just grab Russia...
Huh. All right, we're getting kind of close, and they're not really offering any solutions. UK is not in the picture at all. They bowed out. That sucks. Um... We're just going to start influencing countries that, uh, there we go. As you expand your, uh, expand your sphere of influence, Chinese Empire, um, Southern Rhodesia, huh. Persia, will influence them, Peru, Paraguay. I will not start influencing. Okay, that's enough for now. Uh, Montenegro, we could add. That'll protect um, the Ottomans from grabbing it. It doesn't really interest me. It'll just be like an infamy hit for no reason. Huh. We can go ahead and resolve. Let's do this. I'm going to get 30 prestige. France likes me, Germany, Spain, and two Sicilies don't like me. But the good news is the Germans are scared of us right now. Let's take the prestige and run. Okay, we white pieced out. Barely we got a better score. I'm less than 100 away from the Russian Empire at this point. Um, yeah. See if we can take out that revolt. Okay. We'll upgrade the artillery pieces. Try to take out that army while they're weak. That rebel army. There we go. We took a little bit of losses, but not too, too bad. And we also tried to expand our sphere of influence to South America. Okay, really quickly. Huh, I guess the Dutch never went to war in Nejid. I wonder if Ethiopia would rise up against me and take Djibouti if I went to war with Nejid because they're allies. Abu Dhabi I don't really care about. This is the British ter held territory. They've really dipped into uh, colonies here. Let's see what happens. If I justify a war, conquest 22, we can't afford that. Cut down to size. Make puppet. Or we could demand a piece of territory. We'll do that. It's only a five infamy hit, and we'll grab territory right off the bat. I know the Dutch are interested, so let's go ahead and... Okay, it only hit us with 4.5 infamy. Let's do this while we can. I have a 18 stack and a 15 stack ready to take the country over. Hmm... I want to keep the lower populations happy if I can. The poor class, that is. Alright, so justifying a war currently. Oil production plus 10%. That's pretty good. The Navy is super weak. Uh, we also did build the Suez Canal last episode. That was pretty cool. Gave us a bunch of prestige. Uh, you can hear the railroads being built out, being upgraded. 
And that's bumping our score up as well. Our industry score. Okay, our Cassis Belly is going a little bit quicker. Oh, the Netherlands are currently at war with Nejed. Okay. We now have the Casus Belli. They're no longer allied with Ethiopia, so that's great. Okay. I don't really need my allies. Oh, why can't I? No war justification. Demand concession. Huh. It's grayed out. Does that mean I have to wait for the Dutch to finish? Before I can... Go to war? I don't know. I think so. Oh yeah, look at this. The Dutch threw a 23 stack over here. Okay, so they finished. Let's see if it'll let me now. No, it won't. Oh, that sucks. I just got... Oh, here we go. Hold on. Pause. We could establish a protectorate. Ten infamy. We can do it. Damn, I just wasted like 4.5 infamy, though. We'll go with deep defense system. Just make sure our army is top of the line. Okay, it only costs us 9.2 infamy. So not too, 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 too bad. Um, let's make sure we didn't lose. Okay. We are still in alliance with the UK. Oh, Italy formed. Interesting. When did that happen? Huh. It, it looks weird, of course, because I still hold control over Tuscany in the form of an alliance, and I own these territories outright. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, we took a 10 hit on our relations with Great Britain for declaring war there. But I just boosted them right back up, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so currently working on taking this chunk here. That's rubbish. So... When you play as Austria, interesting fact here, it's easy, it's really easy to keep your consciousness down because you have a fairly, um, like, easygoing country in terms of consciousness, which is how you get reforms done. That's how you develop, really. Um, see, I barely have any. Anyway, uh, militancy, though, is a different problem because Austria is just such a melting pot of different cultures, different... And I'm not helping the situation. Oh, Belgium wants an, an alliance. Let's see. Oh, yeah, let's do that. They're already allied with UK, so... Cool. Oh, and we got an alliance from the Russians. And the Russians are already allied with UK, so that works out perfectly. So now this is like a a total gang up on Germany. Hold on, let's uh, let's analyze that a little bit here. So. Oh, 
hold on. How do I get to it? There we go. We're allied with the UK, the Russians, the Belgian people, and Tuscany. Cool. They love us. The British love us. The Russians love us. And the Belgians do, of course. Cool. So we just got some interesting protection for the foreseeable future. And my infamy just went up a bunch, so... I'm glad to see that didn't really affect things. We have... Hmm. We've got a bunch of pro uh, uh, upgrades in progress. Um, okay, we now have the Casus Belli. There is a crisis as well. The same old freaking crisis. Greece is seeking uh, support. Interestingly enough, The Germans are allied with the Ottomans. Germans have Spain. Oh, the Germans are allied with the UK. Oh, wow. Really interesting world war possible. The alliances are ridiculous. Um, clear war. All right. Let's go ahead and move in. No interest was given to the Greece again. Greece has just been begging and begging with no luck. Okay, so we're going to try to chase down this army in the desert. I'm going to have to split my army to kill it. Here we go. Uh, what do we want to research? Electricity. Cool. Combustion engine. Our army is as far as it will go. Go for a prestige gain. Education efficiency. You know what? Let's go ahead and finish this Navy stuff out while I'm thinking about it. Okay, we've got a... Got a rebellion. Where is it? Oh man. You know what? <laughs> ah, that's a lot of work. But I have Suez Canal. You know, that army might not be big enough to do the job. All right, so I finally pinned the Nejid army. Moldavia. Let's go back up here, Moldavia. Increase opinion. I would like to steal you away from the Ottomans. That would be pretty cool. Just kind of expand my influence. Alright, so excellent. This annexation is going to be over before you know it. 
Okay, also, we will load this army up of Dragoons. Oops. And we will go try to protect, if it'll let us land there, I don't know. suffering losses out in the desert. Can't believe the Dutch grabbed that. That sucks. A weird looking map. Look at Spanish Africa. Humongous. Spain isn't even a great power though. Italy is a great power. They have really heavy industry. I'm also taking a big chunk out of Italy, though. Oh, I've got a couple rebellions up here. Whoops. Uh, hold on, we're getting spammed here. Research. Let's go for more research points at the moment. Oh, how did that happen? That was weird. We had an enemy army slip behind us. Um... Alright, we invade. Hopefully my technology is better than theirs. Got on pause it for them to unload first of all. Okay. Bring you back to my Djibouti port. And we're winning that battle. We killed off the rebels. Alright, let's see if they will take a piece from me. They will not, so I have to... I have to just kill the rest of the uh, population. <laughs> totally wiped them out. I lost a general. That's okay. Russia continues to climb, though. Am I still doing okay with my alliances? No. I lost my alliance with the British. What happened? They picked up Germany instead. Infamy hurts me. Oh, shit. Well, we can go back and try, I suppose. Montenegro. What's up, dude? Increase our opinion of them. We've got to get out of this war. To, uh... Help our relations worldwide. The Russians still like us, though. Although, I think they're pissed that we're in a war as well. Okay, we got it. Cool. Okay, so we just got some improved relations with the UK. And they will take us back. They like us again. Cool. No, Tuscany. You're in my sphere. That's enough. 
That's enough, good sir. Ah, uh, Netherlands. Projects, we've got some railroads going on. We're gonna go ahead and build out railroads in the Middle East, which is cool. So that'll be good to see. So we expanded our territory again. I don't really know. I guess we could go after Abu Dhabi. That'd be pretty cool. Our top three exports are coal, iron, and green. Top three imports, liquor, <laughs> tea, and tobacco. All of the party stuff, yeah, I know. We've got some wars going on in South America. Argentinian liberation of Bolivian something or other. Ottoman colonial conquest of Libyan desert. Huh. Well, I guess that's over here. Yeah, the French, the Ottomans... Moldavia and Wallachia against Spain, Netherlands, Portugal. Oh, are they trying to take, uh, no? I don't know, guys. I don't know what they're trying to take. No, Portugal, I will not give you military access. Yeah, we'll give it to France. We're not very friendly with the French. Oh. The Russians are calling us into a war with Great Britain, Germany, and Denmark. Holy shit. You know what? I can't go to war with the Germans. That's like the number one thing I can't do. I'm going to have to decline. I'm going to have to take a big... I don't know if I've taken prestige hit. I guess not. So I'm no longer allied with the Russians because I threw them out in the cold. I still do have the British. You know that didn't bump that didn't hurt us too too badly. Try to repair relations. It only knocked us down thirty, I guess. Paraguay. Where is Paraguay? Do, do, do. Increase our opinion. All right, nice. Yeah, see, look at Germany just crushing here. Just crushing. You know, I think it was a really good idea to not go into that war. We'll see what the war score is. Oh, it's considered the Great War. The first Great War, you guys. And I stayed out of it. That's interesting. France is also getting just owned. Look at that. Man, the Germans and the uh, British together are ridiculous. Alright, so Germany really doesn't like me. I mean, they are allied with the British. Can I use Germany to turn against Russia again in the future? Peru. Increase our opinion there in, in Peru. So, Uruguay. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, is France into this as well? Wow. Or, excuse me, Spain? In a different war? Oh, man. France is screwed. Russia is screwed. No, Spain, I hate you. Wow, did the British... Yeah, the British have also moved up into this area. Tuscany. Hold on a second, Tuscany. Okay, I just took an alliance with Tuscany because I someone stole them out of my sphere. So I want to protect that from Italy. I want to make sure Italy doesn't get too, too powerful. Whoa. Oh, the Russians lost. Man, that just... Crazy, crazy, guys. We are now number four in the whole entire world. France and Russia are getting destroyed militarily, so it's like taking their scores way back down, I guess. Whenever they rebuild after this war is finished. Yeah, see, Russia's out of the war. Whenever they rebuild. Oh, man, look at France just getting hammered by Germany. Now Germany is really scary. And the reason is because the British are also on the side of the Germans. Shit. And I'm pretty sure the British would side with the Germans in a war against me. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and cut the episode there. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you tune in next time. This has been the Billy Bob HD. And uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll see you next time.